Hello friends. Welcome to my new Bootstrap 3 tutorial series video. Friends. In our previous tutorial, we saw working of Bootstrap CSS classes by name. Container, Container Fluid and Well. In this tutorial, we will learn concept of Bootstrap's responsive grid system. So what actually is, Bootstrap's grid system? As per definition on their site. It says. Bootstrap includes a responsive, mobile-first fluid grid system. That appropriately scales up to 12 columns as the device or viewport size increases. The grid is responsive, meaning, grid automatically adjusts itself to look good on all devices, from small phones to large desktops. The grid is mobile-first, because it is designed to be responsive on mobile devices. The grid system allows up to 12 columns across the page. Consider an example. If this is a browser window, then Bootstrap has divided this whole window, into 12 columns of equal width. We will see it's working in upcoming tutorials. Moving ahead. In order to create and use Bootstrap Grid. Bootstrap provides few grid classes. As you can see the different classes are meant to be built for different devices. There is a class XS, meaning extra small. It is used for extra small devices such as, phones. The class is denoted by, call XS and a number from 1 to 12. Here, if we write say, call XS 3, it signifies to Bootstrap that create an extra small column, that spans 3 of 12 columns. Similarly, there is a class SM, meaning small. It is used for small devices such as, tablets. The class is denoted by, call SM and a number from 1 to 12. Here, if we write say, call SM 4, it signifies to bootstrap that create a small column, that spans 4 of 12 columns. Similarly, there is a class MD, meaning medium. It is used for medium devices such as, desktops. The class is denoted by, call md and a number from 1 to 12. Here, if we write say, call md 5, it signifies to bootstrap that create a medium column, that spans 5 of 12 columns. Similarly, there is a class LG, meaning large. It is used for large devices such as, large desktops. The class is denoted by, call LG and a number from 1 to 12. Here, if we write say, call LG 6, it signifies to bootstrap that create a large column, that spans 6 of 12 columns. We will see it's working in upcoming tutorials. There are some rules that needs to be followed when implementing a grid. Rows must be placed within a container class for fixed width, or, in a container fluid class for full width. As, it provides proper alignment and padding. Here, as we know a grid is made up of rows and columns, therefore in order to align and pad rows properly, it should be placed between container class for fixed width or container fluid class for full width. Use rows to create horizontal groups of columns. Content should be placed within columns, and only columns may be immediate children of rows. Predefined grid classes like row and call star 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 are available for quickly making grid layouts. These are the classes which we discussed in previous slides. Grid columns are created by specifying the number of 12 available columns you wish to span. For example, three equal columns would use three call, xs, four. If more than 12 columns are placed within a single row, each group of extra columns will, as one unit, wrap onto a new line. It will be demonstrated in upcoming tutorials. Moving ahead. So finally, let's see how various columns looks like in a grid. Here, we can see a row having 12 columns. The number value we saw in previous slide demonstrates span of columns. As grid is divided into 12 columns, we have to use 12 columns, 
in which each column spans one of 12 columns, to achieve first example. Similarly, to occupy 50% of grid width, we have to use two columns, in which each column spans 6 of 12 columns. And for 33%, we have to use three columns, in which each column spans 4 of 12 columns. For 25%, we have to use four columns, in which each column spans 3 of 12 columns. And last example shows a row having two columns, one of which spans 4 of 12 columns and other 8 of 12 columns. So friends, let's code example given in slide, and see how it appears on browser. Friends, in our previous tutorial we saw working of well and container. Let's see working of basic grid. In order to code basic grid example, let's copy and paste introduction folder and rename it to grid system. In Sublime Text you can see it has created a project folder by name, Grid System. Let's open it. In index.html file, let's remove contents of previous tutorial. Provide a title to it as, Grid System in Bootstrap 3. I will rename index.html to basicgrid.html Let's start coding basic grid example Place a BR to give a line break Create a div element So, rule 1 says, bootstrap grid needs a container class Thus, in first div provide a class of container. Moving ahead. Rule 2 says. Bootstrap grid should consist of rows and columns. Thus, under container div, let's create a div having a class of row. Moving ahead. Rule 3 says. Columns should be immediate elements inside rows. Thus, under row div, let's create a div having a few columns. Here we provide extra small column class, having value 1. We discussed these classes in previous slides. Here, call-xs-1 class, creates a column which spans one of 12 parts. Let's provide a paragraph to column having a text as, column 1. Let's copy file path and open it on browser. You can see it has created a grid of column 1. Let's create two more columns under row div. Provide it with same column class of 1. Save it and refresh the browser. You can see the three columns on browser. But as you can see the width of these columns is not clearly visible. To make you understand grid system working, and how it gets displayed on browser. Let's create a custom CSS class, to give columns some CSS to be visible. Let's create a CSS file, and save it in CSS folder with name as, style.css. Let's create a custom CSS class by name, column. This CSS class will be applied to each column. So, under this class, let's provide columns a solid border of one pixel, with some color. Provided a background color so that column can be visible. Align its text to center. 
Also, let's provide it a border radius of 5 pixels. Moving ahead. In order to use the CSS class, let's include style.css file into basic grid.html file. Under head section, let's provide a link with href value as css slash style.css. Now we are ready to use column class on bootstrap basic grid. Let's apply column class to each div element, having column classes. I will name all three to column 1, as they all have width of column 1. Save the file and open it in browser. You can see now columns are visible with equal widths. Also, due to custom CSS class, you can easily visualize how grid system divides window into rows and columns. Let's code our remaining example which we discussed in our previous slide. I will copy these three columns and paste it to make 12 columns. Save it and when I refresh page, it displays 12 columns of equal width. This demonstrates how Bootstrap Grid uses complete window space, and divides it to 12 columns. It also creates a grid which very is responsive in nature. Let's move ahead and code second example. Here, after end of first row. We will create a second row, having two big columns, in which each column spans 6 of 12 columns. Inside each column div, we will provide a paragraph with text, column 6. Save the file and refresh the browser. You can see entire 12 column width is equally divided into two parts. Each part spanning over width of 6. Similarly, let's see how we can divide Bootstrap Grid into three equal parts. For that we will use, call-xs-4 class, three times. On browser you can see entire width is divided into three equal parts. Moving ahead. Let's divide bootstrap grid into four equal parts. For that we will use, call-xs-3 class, four times in a row div. Similarly, one last example is to divide entire 12 columns grid into 4 is to 8 ratio. For that in one column we use, call-xs-4 end. On other column we use, call-xs-8. Save it and refresh browser. You can see, how grid is divided in two columns with one column of four and other of eight. So friends. In this tutorial we learn concept of basic bootstrap grid and coded its working. In upcoming tutorials, we will code more bootstrap 3 features and components. So friends, 
go through this video two to three times so that, basic bootstrap grid, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.